In this video, we will see how to do soil texture classification using sand, silt, and clay content in Saga GIS. So, suppose you are having a data on sand, silt, clay content, and you want one column here as soil texture. So, a very easy tool is there in Saga GIS to do soil texture classification. So, we will go to Saga and load our table data first. This data should be in either text format or CSV format. So, go to file, table and load. So, this is the data, texture, open it, double click here. See, this is our data on sand, silt and clay. So, first we need to add one column here. So, go to add field here and name it like texture. And it will be a string and it will be created after the silt. So click OK. One column is now created. This is texture. And then you go to geoprocessing, grid, analysis, soil analysis, and soil texture classification for table. One more tool is there, soil texture classification. This will be used for raster data. Suppose you are having raster on sand, silt, and clay. So, it will generate a raster of soil texture classes. So, each pixel will be having the soil texture class. In this video, we will be concentrating only on soil texture classification for tables. The next, in next video, we will see how to do for rasters. So, click here and give the table name. So, table name is texture. Send the column which is having sand content then the column which is having silt content and the column which is having clay content. In texture, we have to provide the new field we have created, the texture. And then classification system, you can choose from here like USDA, Germany, Belgium, France. So since we, mostly we are doing USDA, so we will select this only and then click OK. So very quickly it will be creating the, it will be generating the soil texture classification of your samples. Now you can export this table as a new table. Just right click here and save as suppose texture class and data type you can save it as CSV or text. So already we are having one sort texture class. You can Save it as like classification and then click save. You can see your data now in this file created. So this is clay, clay loam, silty loam, then sandy loam, loam like this. So very quickly you can generate soil texture classification of your table data in Saga GIS. Thank you for watching.